Yo, what's up guys? Today, I'm gonna be showing you a little, well, very big problem with the stance characters in Tekken in the current meta anyways. And hopefully they fix it for Tekken 8, who knows. But the biggest problem here is that every stance character can be hop kicked. Literally hop kicks are goaded. Right here I have the, the king of hop kicks, Claudio. Now, the biggest issue here is the frames okay it's all this game is all about the frames it's all about the algebra the numbers right so for example right if i hit you with plus three this is mostly what i can do out of something like that right but the stereotypical lay player would do something a simple flow chart like this and then make you guess right if you block this it's an easy hop kick. All you can really do to interrupt is this. Or this. Well, no. Not even that. But even then, guess what? Look at the first hit. It's 11 frames, meaning... They'd, you'd need to do a 16 frame move to not... To interrupt him. I mean, to not interrupt him. So, this is perfect for any hop kick, any launcher, right? So, imagine... Him having to do this. I mean, not that. <laughs> Um, something like this, right? These are all fake mix-ups. So imagine having to hop kick him, right? I have Claudio set in repeat action to do exactly this. Wait. Yeah, for example that, right? So what if I did that? Yeah, I'm trying to interrupt him right now. Look. You see what I'm talking about? Like, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. It's the perfect counter to all of this. Next, we have Zafina, okay? So, right here, everyone hates her. Same for Marduk. Same for every, every stance character, right? Because they can't lab. People, they usually get caught by weird evasion moves like this. Stuff like that, right? I can literally just spam this string variant all day. And people still get hit by it. Oh. Um, the main weakness with her, again, is hop kicks. You see what I'm going? Like where I'm getting at here? The big thing I'd say here is to watch out for, let's see. So if she goes into this, right, she's minus two. Now she could still hit you with something. Like, okay, so if I go for something like this where he's blocking. No. Oh. You guys get the numbers. You guys can see the numbers. He, he, yeah. Yeah, I can still hit you, but look at the minimal damage. Any other option? I mean, that could, that could launch, I actually. But what are you gonna get out of that? Literally, it's the exact same damage. I don't know if you can even do a combo out of that. But you can't cancel out the stance, I'm sure. I'm holding back, down, forward, down. Yeah. So, most you're gonna get out of that is like a combo or some open, right? So, okay, shut up, Claudio. You can stop with the hop kicks. So, the next thing I'd be suggesting is like, I don't know. Like, oh, this stance. Okay, thank you, Zafina. So, with this stance, right? I haven't played her in a minute. Uh, how do I. How do I get down? Okay. So with this one, let's see. Well, can you hop kick it? Yes, you can. Now, Claudio, he might have special properties with this one. But either way, it's not going to really hurt you much. And this stance, from what I've seen, it, it can't really... It's not much of a threat. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh... Overall, that stance isn't as scary. I'd say this stance might be scary, but guess what? You up against a wall and she went into that. Like, for example... You go into that, you get on... You get up on... You get... M on... What? 
you get him on get what? Oh, I don't know. You get him on get up, right? That's a tongue twist. Uh, you can just hop kick. So that's good. Um, what else is good about him? Not much really. Especially if you're just hop kicking. Okay, he just pulled a circus act on me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm gonna just move on to the next character. I think you can apply the same thing. Now, this is a character that you probably can't apply this to. So, this guy, you can't really do this against, right? Um, everyone knows that. He has crazy pressure, plus three. Meaning, you can do a lot of stuff just by pressuring. Boom, boom, boom. You know? There's a lot of moves people are gonna be scared of. Um, this shouldn't be one of them. Just react. Or hop kick actually. If you're in range, <laughs> that's the solution for that too. Hop kick him. If you're in range, so if he ever does his fake out, you still get the launch, right? Um, but before that, I was gonna say you're minus two, right? All of the moves after this, after block, it's 13, right? You still got 11 frames. If they do this and they're launched, let me see. Give me a second. Why is my down forward one not working? This is like the YouTube curse. <laughs> oh, it does spin. Okay, it does spin them. Finally. So, with that, you can't really do that against him. Um, he has many other moves out of this. Now, you can't parry it. Just so, at the end of the day, I'd say just hop, kick, and parry him. Because this is mostly what he's doing. He's using his palms, sometimes elbow, mostly just palms. He's a sumo, right? So, if you, you know, just, you get the gist, right? So, um, if you, if he goes for any of this, you can't do this against. Um, this stance, pretty good. He even has a parry, I think. Uh, which is good, the grabs. Even if he goes for this power crush, I think the start of frames for the power crush is like mine is like four, four frames. So you're not really gonna be able to interrupt him with hop kicks, but parries definitely, right? Um, this is kind of useless though, because not many people play Ganryu, but it's still good knowledge to know just the general matchup. So. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next character. Another example is Marduk right here. So, for I'm gonna just show you guys something a little simple. So, people say he's always OP, right? You can interrupt a lot of his stuff. Plus three. I mean, what's how you gonna interrupt that? Down forward one. I mean, that, what you gonna do, right? Even if he goes for this, just duck it. The final string. It's very option select like, and I do it like all the time against other Marduk's. Um, another way would be, well, I'm gonna test this out. So now, imagine if I went in for a tackle, right? This, right? Everyone seems to hate it for some reason, right? First, you could just break it, right? Um, I've broken it many times before. Not that hard. So imagine if you could just hop kick it and get a crazy combo, right? Oh, it works. Right? And then if he's even closer up one to you, that's a free launch. So if, from any range like that, if you can just time it, It's, a, it's literally the freest combo ever, because you have like two times longer than a snake edge to, to get it. Or you know what, even when he's jumping like that, guess what? Down four and one, boom. So, it's not that hard. When I see people in comments like, where you're like, oh, Marduk takes no skill. Like, just counter him. He can't do nothing. Almost everything he does is punishable anyway. 
or very minus, he loses his turn right after. So. Well, that was my down for one now. But yeah, either it's punishable or his headbutt gives you plus. 2 plus 1 gives you somewhat good frames. Let me see. Yeah, it gives you plus 3. It's not, like, much he can do because all of these end in high. All of his plus frames end in high. Except for, like, no, that's it. I've, I don't know any other one. If you guys know, just tell me. But um, I'm going to be moving on to the next character. This is his biggest weakness of all time. Like, even during that, if you know someone's about to go into BTS, you have enough time to go for a hop kick. Because what is he going to do? Right? Most likely, he's going for this move. Or he's going for this, right? So imagine if you hop kick. Like, just imagine if you hop kick. Repeat action. Let's see. So if I go into this, right? Let me try to time it. He goes, it'll either evade the low, or if he goes for that, it just flips you around and you take minimal damage. So some dudes, just hop kick, just hop kick them. That's all I have to say. Uh, on to the next one. So another hard to hop kick character would be War Rank. He doesn't have many people who can leg parry him. Not much. He's not unstoppable in general, right? So, um... What I'd suggest doing against him is trying to hop kick, especially if it's a spammy uh, war ring, right? But um, most times you're not even gonna know when it's your turn. Like, I know that sounds like a scrub quote, but like, really, man. And the people are like, "Oh, just duck or just sidestep." Like, you're not gonna you're not gonna see a sidestep from like. 90% of second validity. And a duck is like, has to be very educated. What's the difference between this, right? And then something like this. For a better example, right? How are you gonna distinguish this is a low high, right? And like the span of, let me see, one, two. It's like one and a half seconds, right? Um, But like, it's just ridiculous, man. You're not gonna be able to distinguish any of this outside of like practice mode because it's telling you mid, high, low, yada yada, you know. And outside of that, if I was to put guard, what? Is it? Oh, guard all. If I was able to put guard all, right? He's still. He's plus 10 on this, right? It's a high, mid, high. How do you distinguish this without it telling you? And that means if I can chain all of this together and make the special recipe flowchart, I'm literally in the gold. Uh, it's ridiculous. I'm literally in the gold. I'm, I'm ranking up to infrared above. Like, if you can just make the golden flowchart, like, this is better than Lei. I might... Well, I've tried playing him. He's crazy, but he'll... Like, he's not crazy hard. It's just crazy how you can just pull out all this stuff and no one knows how to punch him. Making it a bit too easy for him. And you can just grab him. He has a full grab game. Like, look at this move list, right? This is like... This is King Reverted. This is King Reverted, man. Like, doormat. You do this, you mix it up with something else, and it's it's almost 50 damage. What? He's literally just a grappler, bro. Grappler with, like, OP moves. He's, he's literally got the best moves in this whole game. Now, it might be with Rage, so let me see. It's still 45 damage. It's still good. It's still goaded. How can you say this guy is not good? He, he's got so much plus on block moves, man. 
Like, I'm just, I'm literally just spamming right here. Look at the commands. I'm still getting that plus on black moves, man. And this move is crazy. I forgot to touch. Okay, this is, this isn't a, why your stance character should be, it, why war ring is good. So I'm gonna just switch to the next character, but you guys see the, the craziness. Guys, I think I found the greatest example right here. I was scrolling through the characters. For some reason, I forgot the characters I was going to show. But this is the final one. This is the greatest example I can nail in. This is why Lars is so whack, okay? He's so bad. The biggest issue with him is as soon as he goes into Silent Entry or the other one, I forgot what the name is, um, you hop kick him. That's all you have to do. That's It's so easy. And look, as soon as you see this, this is like at least if this is 10 frames right like boom this is like boom like it's it's two times especially with the punch boom all of these there's at least like 10 frames added to it right this is 20 frames this is 27 this is 31 like it, you have to you have to look at it from this standpoint like this is just good uh, it's good to hop, hop kick anyways it's not good in, in this game you see this I see this a lot in earlier ranks like that's all you have to do well no they'll probably do something like something like that right um, I don't think they just straight out go silent entry well no actually that has happened before but most times people are gonna try to like mix stuff in I don't know the combos I'm a, I'm a large scrub okay but um, but uh, I think overall it's he's like the best example I can show about this like all of any mix-up you use with this is pointless wait what did I just do yeah this he's plus six right so imagine on block and these people have to bank in oh no yeah so minus five plus ten that's like it's perfect for a hop kick. This is literally punishable. If you know they're about to transition, come on, it's so easy. It's a it's so easy. Y you can just hop kick them for days. Repeat action. Oh, not CPU. Oh, my down arrow's not working. Crap. But imagine this, right? This, even this mix up. You can just spot it. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, it took me a minute. But this right here. It's literally the perfect hop kick frames. He's the worst. He's the worst character in the game, especially against someone with hop kicks. Just do this. The general tip is just to hop kick against stance characters. Like, I don't want to hear no more about, no, oh, this character's hard because yada yada yada. Or he's OP. Lay's OP. Marduk's OP. Like, come on. Like, you're gonna say they're OP when you could just literally just get hop kicked. Okay. Okay, bro. But yeah, that's all I have for today, guys. Uh, make sure to just subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Uh, check out my tech controlling compilation. That was funny. And yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace.